on the authority of Jundub, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, related. A man said, By Allah, Allah will not forgive so and so. At this Allah the Almighty said, Who is he who swears by me that I will not forgive so and so? Verily I have forgiven so and so and have nullified your own good deeds, or as he said it. A similar hadith, which is given by Abu Dhud, indicates that, the person referred to was a goldly man whose previous good deeds were brought to naught through presuming to declare that, Allah would not forgive someone's bad deeds. It was related by Muslim. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. A man sinned greatly against himself, and when death came to him he charged his sons, saying, When I have died, burn me, then crush me and scatter my ashes into the sea, for, by Allah, if my Lord takes possession of me, he will punish me in a manner in which he has punished no one else. So they did that to him. Then he, Allah, said to the earth, Produce what you have taken and there he was. And he said to him, What induced you to do what you did? He said, Being afraid of you, O my Lord, or he said, Being frightened of you, and because of that he forgave him. It was related by Muslim, also by al-Bukhari and Nasai and Ibn Majah. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, from among the things he reports from his Lord, mighty and sublime be he, is that he said. A servant of Allah's committed a sin and said, O Allah, forgive me my sin. And he, glorified and exalted be he, said, my servant has committed a sin, and has known that he has a Lord who forgives sins and punishes for them. Then he sinned again and said, O Lord, forgive me my sin. And he, glorified and exalted be he, said, My servant has committed a sin, and has known that he has a Lord who forgives sins and punishes for them. Then he sinned again and said, O Lord, forgive me my sin. And he, Glorified and exalted be he, said, My servant has committed a sin, and has known that he has a Lord who forgives sins and punishes for sins. Do what you wish, for I have forgiven you. It was related by Muslim, also by al-Bukhari. On the authority of Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I heard the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, Allah the Almighty said. O son of Adam, so long as you call upon me and ask of me, I shall forgive you for what you have done, and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds of the sky, and were you then to ask forgiveness of me, I would forgive you. O son of Adam, were you to come to me with sins nearly as great as the earth and were you then to face me, ascribing no partner to me, I would bring you forgiveness nearly as great at it. It was related by at tirmidhi also by Ahmed ibn Hanbal. Its chain of authorities is sound. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. Our Lord, glorified and exalted be he, descends each night to the earth sky when there remains the final third of the night, and he says, Who is saying a prayer to me that I may answer it? Who is asking something of me that I may give it him? Who is asking forgiveness of me that I may forgive him? It was related by al-Bukhari, also by Muslim, Malik, At-Tirmidhi, and Abu Dhud. In a version by Muslim the hadith ends with the words. And thus he continues till the light of dawn shines.